Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Lisa. Today I'm bringing you probably a weekend vlog actually. Um, I've got loads and loads of bits to do today. First being dismantling the bed behind me. Um, that's being collected this morning as is the mattress and then we've got a new bed to build and new mattresses so I'm really really excited. So far I've stripped off all of the bed so that needs to go downstairs and then obviously we can dismantle the bed behind then I'm going to give Evra a really good clean vacuum do all the skirting boards um these lights need to come off the wall and then they need to be shifted probably to here because the back of the headboard for this new bed is quite tall so it's certainly not going to fit so yeah they need to come off the wall and just repositioned and I'm thinking actually maybe of cutting the cords and then you can get these rechargeable light bulbs so we don't have to have these unsightly cords and then obviously it just looks like they're wired in then right the bed is out all gone I'm so so relieved that that's just gone because Super King mattress is just ginormous and yeah I'm just glad it's gone so I've taken well I say I my husband he's taken off the uh, lamps I filled them on both sides and then where that mirror was above the bed I have taken the fixings out and I've also filled that. I have just taken down the curtains, um, which I am going to put in the washing machine. So all nice and clean. Um, it's just going to make me feel better, I know it will. And they've been up a fair while and never have had a wash. So yeah, I definitely want to get those washed and dried, but they are linen. So uh, I think I'm going to try and put on a cool wash. So I'm really worried that I'm going to damage them or, sh or especially shrink them. And cool wash, I think, have them all nice and sparkly clean, smelling nice. And then I've started vacuuming. So I've gone all around the skirting and now I'm just starting to do the main floor. And I've pulled both drawers out, so I'm going to give that a vacuum at the back and clean all of this. And then when the fillet is dry, I'm going to paint that. There's also a few touching up bits to do, so I think I'm going to do that as well before the new bed is built. And yeah, I think we've made quite a bit of progress so far. Okay, everything is now clear, vacuumed, cleaned, and I just put down some of that foam freshener on the carpet. So my husband and hopefully my son are going to start building this bed. I've also just touched up with the paint, but that needs, there are a few more that needs a bit of an extra coat, looking a lot better than what it did. Right, bed is built. Bloody massive, but we do have super king size bed and they're huge anyway. So now we're going to get the mattresses up. We've got two singles rather than just one giant super king. And then get the bed made. Mattress on. Bought. So these are Emma mattresses. Never bought them before. Bought two singles and I thought hopefully then we won't wake each other up when either one of us were bowls. Whereas before we had Super King and you kind of always feel the other person. So, yeah. It's now the next day. Lovely sunshine coming in. All built. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure about the throw and these cushions anymore. Love these, I think they complement a lot. I'm just not sure it goes anymore. We put our summer duvet on last night, which I've got to admit, I don't particularly like because it just basically looks like you've got a sheet on the bed. I do think it was stored up in the loft and I do think we need another one because it was like paper thin and I was actually freezing last night. So I think I'm gonna to look to get a new one. But yeah, I love, love 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 the bed and we've still got the wall lights to put on now i can't decide whether to get different wall lights that have a black 
hanging cord and have them plugged in or to have the old ones back up and find some kind of like rechargeable light bulb. I think the old ones would go but I think I'd probably move them across to this section here and also slightly lower whereas last time they were probably a little bit too high. Hey everyone it's now the next day and I'm about to have my nails done which I can't wait. A um, bit undecisive today of what I'm going to have done but I've got an idea so we'll see if I stick to it. It's a boy walking past then that is on his phone and he literally nearly walked into my car. That's quite funny. Um, and then I am going to go into Cheltenham. I've not been to Cheltenham for absolutely ages, but I am so excited that I don't know if you can remember and if you're a regular watcher, I had a trip to Manchester on an inset day going back maybe October, November time last year. I'm not sure actually. Um, and there was a shop that I went into called Sostrin Green. Well, on Friday, they opened one in Cheltenham. And honestly, I am so excited because it is just the lushest of shops. So I'll try and film a few bits um, inside the store so you can have a look. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to having my nails done, a little bit of a shop. I feel like I need cheering up today. I woke up with a horrible migraine. I seem to be suffering with my migraine so much at the moment and I just feel really, really, really confused because I shouldn't really get migraines. I'm on a lifetime medication to stop migraines and I don't really know why I'm getting them. But anyway, I've taken my emergency medication. It makes me feel very weird. Um, almost like my whole body is just really heavy and relaxed but not in a relaxing way if that makes sense just like my body is just kind of like sunk um so yeah i'm not feeling the greatest today but i'm gonna have my nails done i think i'm gonna get myself something really nice to eat in cheltenham a nice coffee have a look around Sostrin Green. I think I'd like to have a look in Flying Tiger. I'm not sure if I'll film in there. Um, and obviously Primark because at the moment I seem to live in Primark. Um, and anything that I do pick up, obviously I will share at the end of this video. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this kind of like weekend vlog. Um, the bedroom I don't think is entirely finished yet. Maybe a few things that I want to tweak in there. And we're also looking to make some changes to the kitchen. But that could be a longer step-by-step -step process. But I'll explain more. And tomorrow is Bank Holiday Monday. I've got quite a bit of tidying up to do in my house. The lounge looks like a bomb has gone off. I've got a little bit of work work to do. And then I'm hopefully just going to try and take it a little bit easy tomorrow and recharge my batteries. So, yeah, that is the plans for the rest of the weekend. We used to be the team we will talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. So numb, wanna get so numb while we enemies
go to Sustring Green. Um, found I didn't buy loads um, because I know it's there. Whereas when I went to Manchester, I didn't know if I was ever going to visit one again. So I went a little bit crazy then. But yeah, I bought a few bits. I've had my nails done, fairly similar to the colour before really. I was going to go completely different and I just thought, do you know what, the weather at the moment is so drab, I wanted something to like, I don't know, just be bright I guess. Um, so yeah, I will probably show you what I bought probably tomorrow to be fair, um, because my feet are killing me. I want to get in, have a really nice long soak in the bath. Um, yeah, I thought we could have a bit of a catch up really. Obviously in one of my previous videos I said that I've got a few health issues. Um, I've had some test results back and um, oh, I can't remember the exact name now. well actually initially my periods kind of slowed down and then they accelerated and just went a bit crazy really like ridiculously heavy and then she wanted me to stop the HRT treatment and then obviously have investigations done which obviously so far I've had um, an ultrasound um, she's not willing to put me back on the HRT until I have obviously had this procedure done. Um, I suppose being cautious and, you know, I go with whatever the doctor tells me. Um, but yeah, I, so I stopped taking the HRT. I'm on a couple of drugs that makes you gain weight anyway um, and I do think a lot of it could be perimenopausal because my weight gain started probably from around the age of 40 um, and the majority of my weight is around my stomach area and I did find that when I was taking HRT I found I lost a little bit of weight whether that's coincidental, I don't know. But then I've stopped taking the HRT and I feel like I've put on quite a bit of weight. Um, again, I don't know if that's coincidental. Um, but yeah, so I've got that going on. Um, I suffer with a rare form of migraine called vestibular migraines which cause vertigo symptoms and obviously migraines. Um, I do take medication and will do for the rest of my life for that, but I do not know what's going on, but I'm getting migraines like all the time. And they're really debilitating. And I do have emergency medication that I take 
in the onset of a migraine, which, you know, nine times out of 10 they work, they are absolutely fantastic, but they make me feel, it's really hard to explain, but it makes my body feel like really, really heavy and I feel out of it. I just feel really like peculiar. And obviously it's great because it gets rid of the migraine, but then while it's doing its thing, it makes me feel weird. So yeah, I had that kind of, this morning actually I woke up with a migraine, um, but I'm getting them quite a lot. And stupidly, because obviously there was so much to talk about and I had questions to ask about my ultrasound results, I completely forgot to speak to the doctor about my migraine medication and I don't know if it's just a case that there's more problems there or whether my body has become very used to the amount of milligrams I'm on, I don't know. So yeah, I've got quite a few sort of like health issues at the moment. Um, yeah, I just, my job is quite stressful and chaotic at the moment. Um, and I'm sure many of you feel that, like this. I just don't feel like, like there is enough hours in the day. And it can get you down occasionally. And yeah, I just, I haven't, I just haven't been feeling myself. It's also coming up to um, very, very, very shortly. Um, it's also coming up to my dad's, um, I was going to say anniversary of his death, which just sounds so wrong. Is that the right terminology? Anyway, my dad's nearly been gone two years. Um, and, you know, you go through phases where you miss him more than others. And just recently, I feel like I've been missing him a lot more. And maybe because I've got so many other things in my life that maybe it's affecting me more than what it normally would. But it's very much on my mind. Um, the day he passed away, obviously his funeral, and it's tough, you know? I am only 45, and my dad passed away when I was 43. It's really young, I, I think so. I think it's really young to lose your dad. And don't get me wrong, I know that there's gonna be people that have lost their dads or mums or whoever close to them a lot, lot younger. But I feel like I was too young to lose my dad. And obviously I can't change that. Um, and normally, I, you know, I'm absolutely fine. But I guess it's just maybe, I wouldn't say affecting me at the moment. I just feel very much like it's on my mind a lot at the moment. And I think that's the same for anyone for when you lose somebody. And weirdly, the first year of me losing my dad and it coming up to the day that we lost him, I don't feel like it affected me that much. But I feel like it's on my mind more this year. And I don't know why, I have no idea why. Um, they kind of say that, you know, the longer you've lost somebody, the more acceptance you have. And don't get me wrong, I have, you know, I've got full acceptance that my dad's gone. But maybe the further you go from losing him, maybe, I don't know, the more you miss somebody, 
sense. And we all go through points in our life if we've lost somebody that we miss them more in at some occasions than others. I don't feel like I've done a lot of videos on YouTube just recently and I don't really think that that's anything I suppose I suppose it's the whole package isn't it I feel like I've got a lot going on in my life at the moment and like for instance last week I didn't cook one meal for our family there was literally no time at all um, my husband cooked every day my daughter put in a pizza one day for me which I kind of ate during a teens meeting but that's how crazy it's been like I've not even had time to cook an evening meal which is just madness there's been days where my hair's needed washing the good old dry shampoo has come out excuse if I keep changing position the uh, camera just keeps dropping it was all right when I was on the motorway but now I'm kind of like moving around it keeps collapsing so sorry about that anyway I'm nearly home um, I'll probably pick this up again tomorrow tomorrow is bank holiday Monday um, yeah I've got I feel like I've got a lot to do but I'm gonna try and do a lot of those things at turbo speed <laughs> like cleaning the house um filming i've got a couple of videos actually in fact quite a few to film um and then hopefully i can just sit down in the afternoon and just maybe edit some videos relax cup of tea and hopefully feel a little bit more recharged for Monday but the good news is is that next week's only a four day week and the following day following week is only a four day week which is just utterly amazing anyway I am nearly back home now so I will pick this up again tomorrow hello everyone I am now back home um it's a couple of days later and I thought I'd show you what I bought from Sostring Green. Honestly, I just love the shop so much. So I did pick up some goodies. I've also got a few things from Flying Tiger as well. Yeah, from Flying Tiger. So I'll show you those bits as well. Okay. I don't think I've got much from Flying Tiger, so maybe... Maybe I'll start with that first. If you can hear, if you can hear noise in the background, my lovely son is cleaning my car, which is an absolute treat because normally I have to nag him, but he's doing it. So it's really nice of him. I'm not going to moan. Okay, Flying Tiger. I picked up a stapler. Um, my husband's other one accidentally got broken and he uses this a lot for work for kind of stapling receipts and things so i picked up that and also some replacement staples five thousand in there and yeah they were really cheap i also picked up some more glass straws these ones are shorter ones and i've only got the long ones so i thought i'd give these a go because i do have some kind of like shorter glasses and i just love the kind of green color all the green tones so i got that it's a pack of four really boring i got some large envelopes always need envelopes pack of four um yeah just brown envelopes but they actually feel really thick and really good quality and then i got some of these play cans these are for my granddaughter's kitchen um there's tomatoes carrots pineapple i think tuna and peas but i think these are really really cute so yeah she'll love those for her little kitchen that i made for her not christmas just gone but christmas before so if i remember i'll try and link that video it was a good one okay moving on to soft string green okay 
so I first picked this up obviously I am obsessed with my iced coffees um, and I found this vanilla and caramel syrup and I, I love the bottle as well the packaging is really really lovely so yeah I picked that up and I've never tried vanilla and caramel I've always had just the caramel I do have my receipt here let's see so that was £3.56 for that one. And then I picked up a jam and I have picked one up from there before um, and they are absolutely delicious. And I think it was this one I had last time. So this is forest berry jam. It has got blueberries, raspberries, blackberries and red currants in it. But they are just absolutely delicious and just slightly different to what you get in like Tesco's or somewhere like that um, I think that was 282 yes and I did pick up another one again 282 um, and this is gooseberry jam now i only ever tend to find this abroad actually and whenever i go abroad i always have it and absolutely love it so i did pick up one of those and i don't think that's actually that bad two pound 82. okay i then picked up this gorgeous little kind of basket um this I think is going to go in my utility room to store something. Honestly, I think I have a problem with storage containers, anything rattan, um, serving spoons. Yeah, I think I've got a problem. But anyway, I really like this. It's quite diddy, but it's also a really good size. Um, am I going to find what this one is? Ah, £2.88. Oh, the price is actually on the label. <laughs> that would have saved me a bit of time. Yeah, £2.88. So yeah, I think it's a really lovely size and perfect for storing something. I then picked this up. This was £6.62. Um, this is mainly just to have out on. I've got like a bath tray in the bathroom. So this is mainly just for styling, really. But it is kind of like a body brush. It's quite soft bristles. But I just love anything like this. And I think they look really nice out on display. So, yeah, £6.62 for that one. And then I picked up a cheese knife. I really like this because it's got the acacia wood. This was £4.80. And yeah, I do love it. I've got quite a lot of acacia wood now in my kitchen and I just absolutely love it. So I think probably you could use that. Is it even classed as a cheese knife? It doesn't actually say it, it just says kitchen. So no, maybe just a little chopping knife. But yeah, I really like that. I then picked up two of these spoons. We should have got three actually. These were £3.23 each in the acacia wood. And oh my gosh, do I love these? And what I love as well is that all of them vary very slightly. So you kind of get to choose which kind of tones you want. But yeah, love these. And then I picked up some sorted caramel and chocolate almonds. Thought these sounded absolutely lovely. These were £1.58. I wouldn't say it's the biggest of packs. 50 grams but they do look delicious and then i picked up a peppermint bar um never tried anything like this before so i give thought i'd give it a go and that was one pound 31 so it's a chocolate peppermint bar and i do love mint chocolate so i'm sure it's delicious i picked up three of these for my daughter they are kind of like those um sour sweets and they've all got fillings in them as well and those were 98p each and then i got a selection of lollies 
these are I'm sure they're like 10p each yes 10p so I did pick up nine I've got a selection there yeah 10p I just feel that brings me back to like old school days of going to the shop and you can get something really really cheap where can you buy a lolly for like 10p I think even those chubba lollies now are more expensive than that so yeah I don't know I'm just drawn in it's 10p and I know the kids will love them and me to be honest with you and then picked up this <clears throat> excuse me and then picked up this little kind of like paint I don't even palette that's it paint palette it is really really tiny but I thought that was like really lovely and then I picked up these like kind of like stampers which I thought would be really nice for one of my students and I thought it was like the perfect size to kind of like dab and then you can do like patterns how much were the dabbers um so they were 58p and 48p I mean it's just amazing prices so yeah they do have lots and lots and lots of lovely arty bits and sewing and just loads and loads of creative stuff I could have spent a fortune but I think I did quite well today and I restricted myself quite a lot so I do actually have a few bits from Primark which I will show you um, because I did pop into Primark while I was there I picked up my son some of these lilac shorts I brought them home and he was like oh my god why have you bought me lilac I'm like well, surely they're alright just for wearing around the house but anyway apparently not but my husband is going to have them they are really really lovely and soft and just perfect you know I personally like the colour lilac and I don't think there's anything wrong with a man or a boy wearing lilac but um, you know what it's like when they're at that age they're very kind of like tunnel visioned as to what they'll wear and no he was not going to wear that so I picked up a few pieces for my granddaughter I think I'm also planning on maybe kind of like doing a little bit of sewing on these and not necessarily all of them but kind of like enhancing them a bit so I picked this one up for £2.50 I love the little frill sleeves and that was in a four to five and then I picked up these shorts these are actually in the baby section but they are like super stretchy and these were £1.80 in fact no that's euros so I think actually these are £1.50 but I thought those two colours went really well together so got that kind of like to wear as a set and then I picked up two white t-shirts this one is exactly the same as kind of like the orangey one and then I picked up this one which I love it's kind of more cropped but it looked great with shorts and I don't think I mean I got two to three and she's obviously tiny so I do not think at all that this is going to come up cropped on her but I just really loved the pocket detail how beautiful is that and this one was £2.50 so yeah I might do something maybe to this one just something um a little bit stitching just I'm thinking actually like I did buy some cottons the other day of doing like a little strawberry hence the cold kind of like strawberry theme but I thought that'd be really cute but um i just had a lush day in cheltenham i used some of my rewards in taco bell and got a extremely cheap lunch and yeah i went sustering green primark just had a little wander and yeah i had a really really nice day actually and I am just so glad that Sostring Green has opened. So, and I am very glad actually that I didn't go when it opened because they had those barriers up when I went. So they obviously had huge queues, but yeah. Hope you have enjoyed this. And if you do have a Sostring Green near to you, definitely go and have a look. It's just such a lovely store and I could just spend hours in there purely just browsing. But yeah, take care, everybody. 
and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye!